This will do. Thank you, Eivor. Anything to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions, to see them more clearly. What do you see, Sunan? I have the plants you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, it will be ready to drink. In taking this, you will have access to the All Father's wisdom. You will walk the path of Odin and live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey into another time, another plane. The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the Nine Worlds.
prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. The foretelling of a wolf. A great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part? What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf. And falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see. You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate. Your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? Why struggle and fight? We are but threats stretched between anchored points. Without hope, life is a prison, not a gift. Life is the music that comes from playing those threats. That is what lifts our spirits and fills our hearts. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. A storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins? to deal with these invaders, Thor. You cannot smash your way out of certain death. Who crushed the skull of Thrymur? Who is balls? We are as guardians. We don't skulk around like elves. We fight! We are fighting for our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What is this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four to defend the Great Hall. Havi, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Hariar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here, to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves around. All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence! All of you. We will take the fight to the enemy, before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. I need only one. You, Thor, Lord of Thunder. Together we'll cripple the enemy before they grow too bold. Rouse every warrior who can hold axe or hammer. We're hunting Jotna heads! The rest of you, stay back to protect the Great Hall.
Were any creatures among the Jotnar? Drago, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far side tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? He should be guarding that door! Warn the others. The fight begins. Ain Herjar! Here is the battle you died to attain! For Heavy and for Asgard! Jotunheim <laughs> scum! Welcome to your doom! With me, I give this battle to myself. I Harrier, bring the heavy your blades. We will drown our enemies in blood. What's that? You've done us no favors either, Jotun. Wait, no. You, you're mistaken. I am no Jotun. I was only passing through from one land to another. Would your song be the same if the Jotna had won this fight? Yes, of course. Of course. Are you calling me a liar? Harvey. I found this one lurking in the shade. Shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? 
You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy jowled sheep herder. <laughs> what is your name, stranger? I am called the Builder by most. He wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been building things. Do you come from Jotunheim? I do. Or I did. That is to say, I passed through. But I am not of that place, which pleases me well, for I hated it. Had you any dealings there? As a builder, yes. For a time. But they took a dislike to my methods, which are, shall I say, magical in nature. Harvey, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse? Or a secret curse? Neither, I won. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Jotnar can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? Quite a coincidence that you came when you did, at the tail end of a brutal attack. That I came when I did was by design. I have been among your enemies for so long, I know how they hunger for your demise. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Urth. What do you know of our sacred well? It's a place of great power and vital magic, a source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt. I will go to the well. You must find this builder clearing for his display. No, no. It's no trouble, Avi. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. An interesting offer. A curious coincidence. Fight, but I wish there were more. <laughs> the sky itself shatters before your might, Thor. <laughs> Death 
Duljutnar! Asgard belongs to the Aesir! We are undefeated! Yes, the fog cleared suddenly. I, I can speak of what I've seen, but I felt pulled away. Say nothing of it now. Return to this another time. I will, when I'm ready. Glad to see you made it, Chilpat. Thanks to Sigurd, he was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Davor, but what of Little Chestershire? The Alliance has won. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. You have not... <laughs> At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king. But that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now called his friend. And to the south, Soma Jarl's corner, 
and the Danes of Grandbridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he will celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon. And to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There's enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it. And I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curs! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me! There is nothing for you here but death! the last of them. The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. Are there colors and markings? I believe they come from Gidland. Are there none left alive to spill their secrets? We may never know why. Here is one. <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. 
Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from, and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound. Scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warn them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... Tarek! To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, you will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Tekla's brewery has not been built yet. I should do that for her before the festival. I will need to raise the barn if we are going to get the farm ready for the festival. Good day. I should go. Go, oh, my eyes. I want to see the Alliance map. What of Oxenifertshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. 
He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire. Sigurd will be pleased to see you. Go, Sudan.
The other side must be barred. See, Sunan. Soldiers are tightly wound. Hello there. One of my better pieces. You wouldn't regret getting this. Hope to see you again soon. I will see you later, friend. your eyes, my friend. What can I tempt you with?
Until next we meet. I'm off. Be well, friend. Always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I am asking a simple question. Look, Dane. You start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You seem to respect this man, Gidrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Xenifort Shire to be free and to decide its own fate. A woman will stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Good spot to hide. Wait! Stop! Alan was Sahalan, Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolfkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor... Gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with the promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. 
From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrifying. Gods! All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount the surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright, and he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia, then all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers and... Well, there will be time enough for my saga later. <laughs> 